Hello, Metalheads! Teddies, we have comatose music time here on the Round the Channel. That means brutal death metal, slam, and all that. This one is a uh, rather recent band from 2020 called Focal Dystonia. And everything here really uh, points to United States of America being the kind of a home of ultra brutal death metal. Descending in human flesh is the name of this debut album but this one is a two-man band from germany germany doing brutal death metal it's very interesting really here it shows that this one has actually uh more than one, more than two members but on metal archive site it really shows something different uh to be honest i don't know what's going on here but what matters is that this album is good. This is one of those which I already uh, mentioned before the whole year 2020 was over that I'm most likely going to miss some of the um, gems in 2020 for my best of 2020 list. And there's going to be a uh, video about Miss Gems of 2020 later on in 2021. And this is one good candidate for that list. I can almost already pretty much say that this is going to be on that best or best miss gems of 2020 which i should be making uh, later on in spring 2021 now like I said this style here is uh brutal death metal and here you have focal dystonia page on metal archives has only one image of these two guys they don't look that dangerous as the music is they don't look as brutal as the music is, that is. And if you take a look at the um, members list, the lineup, that is, you see these two guys. One doing drums, one doing guitars and bass. But you have uh, the various amounts of different vocalists there, it seems. And it's interesting because when I was listening to this album, you don't really uh, hear the uh, variety that well i mean these are all vocalists that do very very brutal style of stuff and it's basically the music that dominates everything here of course when you have ultra brutal death metal when you have those really kind of a uh, down to guitars brutal blasting some technical things here and there you don't really pay attention unless the vocals are a little bit too much off that is, what you want is that brutality, the violence, the sheer heaviness of it all, and you're good to go. Now, if the vocal is a little bit mediocre, maybe it doesn't really matter as long as it fits the music here. And luckily so, that's what's going on here. Now, descending in human flesh is an interesting thing because, you know, of the lineup, but also because it's only 31 minutes. Now, some might say it feels a little bit too short. But when we're taking a look at the history of metal, you know, Rain in Blood and the like, you pretty much know that would you rather take that 30 minutes or so of great songwriting rather than some sloppy 45 minutes, not to mention a full hour. And in my opinion, Focal Dystonia has really done the right choice here. That is... This kind of brutality is the kind of stuff which you probably don't want to end up listening for 50 minutes straight. Because, after all, as much it's likable, it's more or so properly portioned when you have, you know, just the, how to say, uh, fitting amount of music on one go. It's like this extra greasy, extra fatty, uh, meal you're gonna just consume you know consume like this brutal beast that this band is and once you're done you're like oh my god oh you want to vomit so you rather go for some nice nice being a little bit weird word for you for the 31 minutes and then you're good to go you're like okay i'm stuffed and then you come back for more i mean i was listening to this album multiple times you know straight and i didn't feel you know getting this obese vomiting feeling but then again i am gonna say it again it is better this way have 31 minutes of quality versus going for more and then having these weak points now in my opinion focal dystonia is not exactly doing nothing new to the genre but rather 
it's like uh, presenting this quality brutal death metal in ways that only the uh, followers of the, of the scene and the genre will understand. This is marginal music for marginal people. Those who already like the genre are pretty much very much at home. I mean, it doesn't matter whether you're talking about bands like Devourment or uh, Necrotic Gore Beast or even the great American brutal death metal band Origin. If you are into fast blasting, low growling vocals, some heavy shredding, brutal sound, all going to the bass, you know, just feeling your head is gonna explode, then you're very much at home with this one. So in my opinion, while this is not so much a surprising title as such. The quality, given that this is a first album by this new band, is just astonishing. Really good album, but only for those who can really cherish the message of brutal death metal and slam. So take it as you will. I would strongly say that or recommend that you give this band a listen. You will find the link provided in the description box. And if this is just too brutal or too technical for you to handle, don't blame me, you were warned. Thanks for checking out, see you later, take care.